This channel and its videos are intended for general audience. Wrong way round. While Rebecca was at the works, Henry took over the express. The passengers loved how nice he was, and how quick he was too. You may be a permanent engine on the train, laughed the passengers. Gordon is never this kind. Henry took this, and was a bit puffed up in the smoke box. The passengers say I'm better than fat-faced Gordon, and they want me on the express all the time, boasted Henry. The engines just looked at Henry and paid no notice. The next day, Henry went down onto the coaches. He waited impatiently for the guard and was ready to go. The coaches started to get worried. We'll be ready soon. We'll be ready soon, they sang. Finally, the guard blew the whistle and Henry roared out of the station and the coaches hurried as well. Henry was going smoothly along the main line. Everything was going well until... Henry had been uncoupled from his tender and looked back in horror. His driver stopped him just in time. Oh dear, groaned Henry. His driver and fireman looked all around. Then the fireman had an idea. Henry could pull the train backwards. He'll be pushing his tender and pulling the train at least to the next station before the remaining water runs out of his boiler. The driver agreed. Henry was cross. Tender engines don't go backwards, he huffed. Later, Henry was coupled up to the coaches again. hard. He set off going backwards down the line. The journey was embarrassing and very stressful on the working engine. Finally, Henry reached Oxford Station. Thomas couldn't help but tease. You tender engines keep playing tank engines. First shunting, now pulling express trains backwards. Thomas puffed. Henry just glared at him. Later, James arrived and took the express onwards. Henry sat in the siding while his tender coupling was fixed, and Henry was all alone. The driver and fireman worked tirelessly to fix his coupling, and by the time they did, it was dark. Henry slumped down the main line towards the sheds, and wasn't looking forward to tonight's teasing. Henry puffed onto the turntable and didn't say a word. Engines all had a good laugh as Henry backed quickly into his berth. And the driver shut the doors and even gave the engines a threatening glare as he turned and walked home.
The next day, Sir Tottenham had arrived at the Sheds. I understand if you're feeling a little embarrassed, but I still need you on the Express today. Luckily, Gordon's coming home tomorrow. I've spoken to the other engines about your little accident yesterday, and they are sorry. The train is waiting for you at Napford. Later on, Henry backed onto the Express. The passengers were sympathetic, as were the coaches. Henry felt better as he pulled out of the station. You can do it, you can do it, sang the coaches, and this made Henry determined. Henry raced along the main line. He was fast and fearless. He wasn't going to let anything get in his way. He slowed down as he saw flying Scotsman. My, my, Henry, you look just like me back when I broke the speed record, he said. Henry laughed and took the train onwards to the mainland. The end.